Today I want you to use the box of sticks to make as many quadrilaterals as you can. And I want different quadrilaterals. And so for that, you're gonna to have to consider the idea of similar. You know, for example, we have two shapes here and they're not exactly the same. They're not congruent, but they are similar. And that means they're still the same shape. And I'd like you to make different shapes, different types of quadrilaterals. So look what I could do to make one of these different. All right, now I have two different types of shapes. So why don't you go see how many different quadrilaterals that you can make out of the box of sticks and then come back and we'll talk about all their different names. Look at all the quadrilaterals you have created. Let's see if we can talk about some of their names. Are there any of these names that you, these shapes that you recognize, that you know the names of? Like this one, that's a square. Let's go ahead and label that one. Oh, and the rectangle, you recognize that one also? Let's write rectangle. This one here that isn't a regular polygon that has all those four different, we can just call that a common quadrilateral. This one is a parallelogram. Got two pairs of uh, sides that are the same length. Here we've got a rhombus. This one is a trapezoid. And we have a kite. I wonder if I mixed these up, if you could place them again. Or we could try to make more of some of these shapes. 